All right, everyone, uh, we got the driveway looking pretty good. Uh, I got the old rail jack out. Uh, we're gonna use this rail jack to jack up this shipping container. Uh, I know a lot of you people won't probably know what a, a rail jack is, but uh, a lot of you old timers, you probably know exactly what this is. Uh, this will jack from here down on the bottom. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, it'll jack from right here or it'll jack from the top. And we're gonna use this down here because it's so low to the ground, we should be able to dig just a little bit out, slide that underneath the shipping container and lift this shipping container up. That's the plan anyhow. So let's see if it works. Okay, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna try to clean out a little bit so we can put this board underneath there because we want to be able to put it on something solid and this this ground is not real packed in right now so we're just going to see if we can move a little bit of this around so we got to get it deep enough here that we can put the board down in here and still get our rail jack on it. Hopefully it won't break that, uh, break that. I got Julie in there, she's cleaning out the uh, shipping container, sweeping all the garbage out of it. If we do this right, it should lift the whole entire shipping container up. Now we're gonna use a pretty long handle in this thing. Uh, this is my buddy's floor jack handle. going up in there, Joel. Now we're not really worried about getting it too high off the ground. We do not want it too high off the ground. I want it pretty low to the ground, but yet I still want air to be able to circulate underneath of it. So as you can see, our shipping container is off the ground right now. Uh, both sides are off the ground. Now, from what I understand, you only have to support these shipping containers from the sides or from the all four corners, but we're going to probably do one in the middle too. Now we're not gonna to try to get these perfect or try to even level the building. What we're gonna do is set it on the pads and then we're gonna let the building settle on its own. And then later we'll come back, maybe a few weeks later, and we'll level out the building. That way these pads will have time to sink down in the ground. Okay, these are the patio stones we're gonna use for all the corners, wherever we're gonna put a pier or block. We're gonna use these, this gives it a nice big flat surface for our building to set on. We're gonna use at least six of these. One on each corner and two in the middle. So we'll go ahead and get on the other side and do the other side the same way since it's already off the ground. Okay, now they say the most dangerous thing about these jacks is putting it back down. So, now we gotta get her down. Ok, 
Okay, it looks like we uh, did that without getting hurt. And that's always a good thing. See how that jacked. I'll show you again how that jacked up. See, it jacks up right here on the top. But this little pen right here sticking out will jack up too. That's what was lifting up the building right there. They would stick that underneath the rail on a railroad track. And that's how they would lift the rails. Cool jack, I love it. We've used it for years. It's not something you use all the time, but it's something that's really nice to have when you need it. written on the side of it. All right, now, from my stupidity, I busted that block right there. You can see I cracked it right down the middle and even on the other side. And that's from not having a level platform to lay that block on. So I'll eventually have to replace that one, but I should have leveled that gravel out a little better up underneath of there. That way, that block would have been sitting on nice, something nice and flat. So we're going to go back and work on the back of it, and uh, we're going to try to do a little better job this time. All right, this time we'll try not to let that happen. We got us a, a bucket of gravel. I got everything ready. I'm going to throw a board up underneath this thing. <clears throat> so it'll lift a little higher. We don't want to break them blocks. Now one thing we don't want to do is stick our hands up underneath there. Shovels and rakes only. Because if we uh, get underneath there, we're going to get something broke for sure.
Hopefully we have a pretty level pad now. We'll certainly find out if it's level or not. Because it'll probably break that pad again. All right, we'll let it down and see if uh, it breaks our blocks. Hopefully it won't. I think that other one we just had too, way too unlevel. Well, we didn't break the pads that time, that's good. Okay, so don't make the same mistake I did. Don't buy the patio stones uh, to put underneath these. You can see that one broke. And we went up in the front, me and Julie, and uh, we changed the two front ones, got them as level as we could, and uh, of course this one here broke too. So we're going to find some different stones to level this up with, but it's getting late. We did a lot today. We still got garbage to clean up in here. Julie has uh, swept it all out real good, and we got a big pile of garbage to get rid of. So it, it's okay, we can go ahead and put stuff in it. It's not gonna hurt it. We're just gonna have to get some better stones. Uh, I, think I, got, I think I know where some big, big heavy ones are we'll put underneath there. All right, so I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.